and subscribe, you'll get oh, more. Don't worry, he subscribed. Yes, that's what we like to hear. That man's a legend. He yes. was everything on YouTube and Fireplex. Yes. Yeah, I watch it all the time, to be honest with you. What's your favourite video? What do you like? Uh, I, I, I like the song of Grassman. Oh, <laughs> cut! Cut! I'm a little bit there. Any reason why YouTube are looking up at me in the cab? Pay for ten foot there, son. At least we didn't come here for one angle. Sir, we're in our straw. Brian's over there getting a wee shot of the sign of Greenville Energy, or in this case, I think it's Greenville Dairy. The rest of isn't. We have a board in the office and it's a board of uh, open projects. It's as currently it is. about five TBCs, I call them. Yes. To be completed. Yes. But Jason Mitchell's is on a whole different board on its own. Straight because... into this yard in 2018? No, 19. First, first. No, 2018. It 19. Been... No, it was 19. It was Johnny's very first video. Corona hit. No, Corona hit. Sure, it was 25. So I was right, Brian. You're right. I apologise. I accept it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we we move on. 2019. Yeah, okay. 2019. Okay. You okay. You think? Okay. No. No, I'm right. I know I'm right. <laughs> don't, don't argue with me. I'm right. We started this video the guts of three years ago. It's heading that way. Yes. I came out to film De La Valve. They had a crack and open day here. Uh, a lot of people come up to yes. see the setup, to see the robots. So massive farm went from big rotary to eight Dillaval robots. Yes. It's decommissioned the rotary and it's now taking some of the gear off rotary to run a conventional parlor. Yep, and 20 point swing over. Yeah. Like we, we have watched the evolution only in a couple of years. You can see how far this, how far this farm is. I was in the shark quite a bit because I kept calling in trying to corner Jason. Right. It's very hard to corner. <laughs> So uh, I called in a couple of times on the way past because we're right near Gas and Dark here because we've been there a fair bit. Uh, Where? The Derricks are? The Derricks are. Here for the story, here for Walker's Maze. Mm -hmm. uh, every time I've been in this yard, it's bigger than Yeah, 700 cars. Used to be a flying herd, now they're breeding their own replacements. We, we could just give a front to ourselves, man. We could. It'd probably be better, like, you know. Uh, <laughs> Joe and I'm really looking forward to. Uh, going Mom's back blog, and, where I touch the bitter and make it work. Is your, uh, is your buck raking job, is that out in the other one? Can we talk about that? <laughs> oh. We should show the blog of me mowing, and everyone will be all like, look at the hack of him trying to mow, and, oh, uh, and then I'm just going to cut. I was watching it the other night, that's a, oh, were you? I see the bit where you hit the wrong lever, you're like, all oh, the whole time you're going down to be like, watch it, you're nursing the lever, you never let your hand off the lever for like yeah. 10 runs. Yes. And then one time you take your hand off and put it back on the other lever, right around the headland, hits the lever, Four starts to fold way, way up and it flat out. Like, oh crap! Yes. But that wasn't. Hey, that's the first time I'd ever done it. Was that the first time you had buck rake? No. Because we have. A <laughs> In fairness to you, when I'm there, I have no idea what what looks good and what doesn't look good. It was the footage that Alan done. was sending in in the group chat <laughs> afterwards of, oh, of of the <laughs> scooping out from behind the pit. The, just the load you must have thought this pit's big enough. I'll just dump that over there, like you know. Normally the pit goes up, not that way. Just, just saying. I'm a mathematician, like, but yes. that's how it works. Right? Yeah. See, look, look, there's a technique to it, right? You imagine that's your wall, right? I love this. When you get John started <laughs> on something that he's, <laughs> yes, he's done something wrong. There's, there's, there's the wall. There's the wall. There's, there's a whole explanation. You think I'm bad? You think I'm bad? Like you know, bit of grass that's going up. Yep. It'll pull us all back in as it sinks. Ah, uh, of course it will. My pet. I don't really care. <laughs> the triggered. He is triggered. John's triggered. Right. So plan for the, the, the rest of the day or what, what the rest of the day looks like for us. What have we got to do? Go home to cry. Yes. We were slabbering with a buck rig and yes. I wasn't there. Yes. Last time I had buck rig for you. <laughs> Walking from the corner shot here, he's raging. <laughs> so why waste your time looking for a cracker on YouTube channels like ours? You can go to Farmflex and get unbelievable amounts of variety and quality. We've got 
shiny metal for the men that love it. We've got livestock for the men that could not care less about that shovel. <laughs> uh, you know when people get my shots, oh, uh, it drives me crazy. So, would you rather be a robot guy or a parlor guy? Oh, I'm not a livestock man. Like, I like looking at fat cattle, I like looking at beef cattle that are well finished. I like looking at dairy cows that have a beautiful sheen on their skin. I, I love seeing well looked after cattle. Yes. But I don't want to be the guy looking after them. I'm happy to feed. I can do the feeding routine now. Yes. I could do that. So I'd probably be robotic for that reason. Okay. I do think I'd be a good fit for AD. I do think I'd be a lot of tinkering and tuning and fixing. No, you'd be. You'd, but then you'd I'd be know. totally. My head would be melted no. every time something breaks. Say, I'd be like, yeah. "Who broke that? Yeah. <laughs> that was working yesterday." It would fry you to be an AD man because you'd have to. No matter what breaks, you've got to find out the reason why it broke. Where sometimes I think in the MAD plants, you, like he said, you know, you don't go, as Jason said earlier on, you don't go all gun ho straight in and start changing everything. You just got to change, tweak the small. Well, he meant things. that about the cows. All right, but it's the same thing in the AD plant as okay, well. Okay, okay, okay. An AD plant is a cow stomach. You know, you can't, you can't dive oh, in and change it. I'm very systematic with fine tuning like that. Yes. Okay, it's more of the. Oh no, I need another engine. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right, do I need any shots in here? Do you want to hear? Let's go up. Let's go up on the top deck and look down, get a ah, shot. Well, this will be your last shot before the milking. Yes. So this is where we started our day. We were doing rolling shots this morning with them chucking out the uh, the sedge. It's a lovely area shed. It really is. I noticed there earlier when I was flying the drone. You can see some nice ventilated sides there. Which I presume can be pulled in or out as needed, depending on the time of year. And the weather conditions. That's the weather now, Brian. That is, sir. Can I just take footage? I'm not going to ask you to speak. Don't panic. Sit we are. Sit we are. Don't move. You just look that way, you keep, you keep. I don't like the look at your throne, Brian. No, I am not, I'm not too keen on that, like. I know I complain about our desks in the office, like, but this is, this is a whole new level here, like. Good stuff. Right, get a quick shot here, John, before. That's a nice shot there, now. Connor's walking down, we're calm, one there. Dang. Down the middle, feed passage there. <laughs> Sausage pop. Every time, boy, every oh, time. My goodness. There's some training, there's some training in your shot, like. Oh, he's. Oh, he's. Planked it, he just stopped and just planked it there. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm masking him out here using one of those poles. That's what you do. You just use obstacles to hide the people. So when I was here at the maze, I. Uh, Made sure and figured out what time milking was. Abandoned ship and filming the maze. Come over here to get the last winner runs the cows through. That's a big bug tank. The size of it. Come here, Stan, for, to give me a sense of how big that is. Brian, what size are you? Because I'm a big boy, because I'm not like a tank. Because you're six foot. Six foot four and a half. Right, they walk down to the back and walk up. <laughs> That's a big tank. That's like a lorry load in one head. We always struggle to show the, the perception on camera of how big something is. Uh, you need something to measure it against it, you know, like, you know how big Brian should be on camera. Um, yeah, bulk tanks are always in a tight little room. Sometimes they're built even half into the room, half outside. They're a hard thing to video, believe it or not. You need a mad wide angle lens to just sit back and get the full capacity. We always talk about people getting in the shot, using this phone. Look, zoom into that. Like if you're going to use your phone, go in somewhere like that. Who is he texting? Is that, is that the wife he's texting? Or what do you think? <laughs> Give me the thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sort of killing time here in terms of um, going for milking. So 
the uh, other important question, when are they fetching the cows? Because it's nice if you can manage to get the shot of the cows actually coming towards uh, towards the bar. They're in the field right now. Always makes nice viewing, seeing cows walking, I think. A lot of young cubs here as well now that don't know how many men them boys would make up but anyway hey we it's probably something we have to be careful of as well now because um uh, you know when i was growing up here it wasn't as big or as busy and we probably got more opportunity to do things you know um but with the whole health and safety side of things nowadays and and you know like my own son and brothers kids too you know you'd be sort of always concerned you know you always be concerned, you know, that there's a lot of moving machinery here and, and uh, you know, you have to be careful enough, but <clears throat> but at the same time, you know, we have all had the benefits of growing up on a farm, you know, and, and the guy wants, I want, you know, I want my children to have them benefits, but we just have to make sure that we, you know, de-risk it as much as we can, you know, but it is like they're, they're mad to get at it and you sort of have to let them do the, the bits and pieces too, the, because they're, they're all wee things that stick with you, I think. Yeah, we'll stick it up on here then. Boy, we'll stick right. it up on there. This is my big chance to shine, boys. This is where I get to interview the real men. The men that own the farm and the men that run the farm. I don't so run the who? farm. You introduce everyone. Who, who's who here? Who's the boss? Oh. You're the boss, so you, you, you introduce yourself. That's me. Yes, you. I'm Max Mitchell. Right. The man himself. <laughs> <laughs> they're your cousin. So when I come back on this farm in 10 years or 15 years time, usually the boy's going to be running it. Well, hopefully him. Not me. Maybe. You don't work on this farm? No. You just take a paycheck? No. Who does all the milking? You do the milking? No, but who does the milking at the weekends? I... And what time are you up at milking the cows? No, I don't do in the morning. Oh, you don't do in the morning? Nah, I, don't, I wouldn't do in the morning either, sir. What do you do? What time do you milk in the afternoon? Aye. Uh, so you get up in the morning, play a wee bit of Xbox, and then come up and do a wee bit of milking? Uh, Sounds good to me. Tell me about these tractors. Tell me about John Deere tractors. Well, Why? they're so the you. Are these just, this is where you keep the scrap? No, what? this is the brilliant side. Where, where's the New Holland? Yeah, I know. I thought you were in the van, you know. Aren't they? <laughs> I heard you earlier on when your daddy was talking to you, uh, or talking to me, really? and uh, he, your daddy was trying to remember all the numbers of the John Deere's. And he couldn't, he couldn't really remember. You were in the background and you were shouting 165 or 195. So what have you got? Tell me what John Deere's you have. A 6195, a 6190, a 6210, a 6910, uh, and that's really it. And then we have a JCB, two JCBs. So what tractor are you going to buy whenever your daddy gives you the big checkbook and says to you, right, Max? You go and buy a tractor. What tractor are you buying? I'm not going to buy a tractor. I'm going to buy cows. Well, you're going to buy cows? That's what I like to hear. Okay, man. Because, uh, because the cows can make me money. The tractors kind of don't make me money. Is that what your daddy tells you? <laughs> Is that what he says? Well, he said a long time ago that the tractors don't make the money. It's the cows that makes the money. I think your dad's right, you know. Why are they on straw? Because if they get calf, if the if they calf, the, co the cow will be in a safe place, nice and smooth, and it's in the straw, so it can lay itself. Because if it was here, it's higher ground, and that, it's not really. Yes, so, so a nice soft a nice soft landing. Yeah. And yeah. do you come out here to check with your daddy at night, or who does this? Who checks here? Uh, usually John, or Park, or Taylor. Yeah. Or Taylor? Yeah, who's Taylor? At the van over there. Right, okay. And who's, what, does Taylor work here? Aye. Uh, What's he do? He bluffs away a lot. He bluffs away a lot? <laughs> I think, is Taylor a wee bit like me? Does, does Taylor come from the town? Is he a townie? Aye. I think Taylor's a townie and that's why he's a bit of a bluffer. Aye. Uh, he's... Spoken the true experience there, Brad. Well, I'm just telling the truth. 
I'll just tell the truth. Right, come and show me what else is here. Right, Leo. Show me the parlor. Show me where you do all your milking. This is, this is what I get, but this is the future of farming. This is the future. I like the way you ordered the rain for the middle of your interview. Ah, uh, well, well. Hurry up. Right, boys, I'm a wee bit older here. My legs are a bit, bit sore here. You don't have to slow down. Ask them about, about the grandmas. The grandmas? Right, uh, yes, yes. Right, so what happens in here? Um, you milk the cows. So you do, you put the clusters on, the teats. Right. Huh? Yeah. You show me what you do then. You're the big milker at the weekends, doing all these big long shifts at the weekend, but you don't do mornings, because you only do afternoons, because you're busy in the mornings. Aye. Uh, so what do you do? Show me, show me how to milk a cow. A cow is standing there, what do you do? You pull that out and you put the clusters on. Simple as that. I'll just show you. Right, pretend that um, if it's up like this. Yep. You hit this here button. Well, you go to the side, drop it, it'll drop for you. Yes. You get your cluster like this. If a cow stand here, you get your one, your left hand and you just go like. Yes, one at a time. Yeah. Now, when I was in America, I saw boys putting these on and they just put these on two at a time. They had two and they were just going bump. And the next two, bump. Really quick, like. Uh, that's a challenge, you're gonna to have to learn to do it. See you next time you're in doing one of your big shifts. Uh, you, you, you come in and try and see if you can put two on at once. What about you? Are you gonna milk cows when you're older? What was your name again? Alex. Alex, you're not gonna milk cows? You're gonna drive tractors? No, what are you gonna do? Sell cars. Mm. Sell cars? Yes. You're the smart one, you're the boy that'll make money. Have you seen the robot yet? These are the new ones we got in lately. So what's good about a robot? Tell me what's good about a robot. Ah! They can... No thanks, Mr. Coy! And uh, they, they're very handy because if someone was, like, not there at night time... Yes. We, they, they could just go in and walk in, kill them. They do it themselves, you don't have to go over like a parlor, you know. How amazing would it be if you're playing Fortnite or if you're playing uh, Xbox, whatever game you play, and you could pause it and then scroll over and check and see what cows are milking? Oh, I like it. I play Farm Simulator. And you play Farm Simulator? You've got your own farm here. Explain to me why you play Farm Simulator when you've got your own farm here that you can farm on. Because if, when I'm not, if, when I'm not at, uh, here, I can work on a farm that I'm on a game of. That's mad. That blows my mind. What fleet have you got in farm sin? Huh? New Holland's? No, John Deere's. John Deere's. I have 195, a 215, a 250, and a 6910, and a 6930. A 6, why have you got a 6910 instead of a 7910 or a 7810? Well, I like the 7810. And you have a 7810. I've seen uh, your yeah. video. Uh, uh, yeah. She's not really good. She's a bit scrap. I raced his 7810 with a New Holland and the New Holland left it for dirt, like full load in the back. That doesn't wrong. mean it's better. Oh, was it the driver? Driver error? No, yeah. it's not the driver. Yeah. Driver yeah. error. I don't like the way this conversation's going. Yeah, <laughs> driver error. Yeah, I, no, I, I get that. So you do that much milking in here anyway. You don't need to be playing farm sim. Yeah. You're here working flat out. Yeah. But you don't do more. It's just a good time, isn't it? Oh, well, do it depends now. A fiver of the. Turn up. Do they get paid yeah. for turning up? Oh, yeah. Hey, that is. They get a mushroom fee and then they get more. Hey, don't you have fun ideas with the hedges? Brian, you're not going to buy for turning up. I like it. I like it as well. Thinking like you're paid for turning up. Like I'm just going to rock up the John says at the weekend. No, well, John, I'm just turning up here. Right, is there anything else you want to show me before I finish up? Right, so what are you paid with? Show me what you're paid with. We bed with um, sawdust stuff. Sawdust? Yeah. So that's a, mix, that's a mix for the cows to lie down on so it's nice and comfortable and soft. Yeah. So it, it's meant to, right? For an example, it's meant to be sitting here where their teats are. Yes. They're, it's not really meant to be here. It's meant to be nice after milking so it's nice. They lay on where their tights are. Yes. No. You seem to know what you're talking about. Are you going to be there at Malkin? Am I going to be here at Malkin? Well, I might be here videoing. It depends. I'll tell you what. I'll be here milking 
if John doesn't give me my fiver for turning up today, but if he's going to give me my fiver for turning up, I may as well just go right. home. Jason's going to give us all fivers for turning up. <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> now, boys, you three today, you have turned up and done a wee bit of work for Farm Flick, so, you know, there has to be a fiver given to you for that as well, like. Don't worry, I'm subscribed. He'll get oh, you, oh, don't worry, he's subscribed. Yes, that's what we like to hear. That man's a legend. He yes. knows everything on YouTube and Fireplex. Yes. My favourite video was him in front of a 7 8 10. It was, you know, the one uh, lately you've done with the 7 8 10. Ah, I don't know. Percentage? Yeah. Where I get a flat wheel? Yeah. Guess what I had to do whenever I get a flat wheel? What? I had to buy new tyres. Four new tyres. How much is it going to cost them? What are they? What kind of tyres are they? They must change out of eight or nine grand, I'm oh, sure. No, oh, no. <laughs> we, we buy Michelin's. Yes, we don't we, buy Michelin's. We, uh, the ones that he did buy, we were saying about four grand. What was it, Kyber? What do you call them? See ya. No. See ya. So on this farm, do you use produce... Oh, good man. Do you use produce whole milk or semi-skimmed milk? Hey, Max. Sorry. I need to do my work here. Whole, do you use milk? Do you make whole milk or semi skim milk here on the farm? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'll ask my father. Right, what are you doing? Filling the water up? The tongues uh, feel weird. Well, after the farm. You're after. definitely not cut for the farm. <laughs> he, he, he's definitely a car salesman, like you can see him even uh, looking and smelling and touching. Nah, the, the that's not. When you stand over beside me, me and you. you where, where's the feeders? Come and show me the feeders quickly. Better watch he doesn't bite your hand off. No, we're glad. What? He might bite your hand off. No, it's no, teeth. no teeth. No teeth. It's no teeth. There's no teeth. You may, you may watch one of them does have teeth and then he bite your hand off. Right, but we put the milk, the powder milk in here. Right, is the powder milk mix mixed with hot water, cold water? What's it mixed with? Hot water hot and water. powder. Isn't right. that right, Dad? And then uh, when we put it in, we put it in here and they suck. Okay. From the teeth? Yeah. That's brilliant. This is the old pot, so it is. Watch now. Max, don't go so far in there, you'll see all the dead cows. <laughs> <laughs> there are no dead cows. What was that? All the dead cows. There are no <laughs> dead cows, Josh. We... Don't go too far in there, because you'll see all the dead Me cows. Me and Taylor are amazing. amazing. <laughs> there were far too many in there the last day, I think. Is that, where you keep all, is that where you keep all the dead cows when you're milking? When you used to milk in the mornings? There were 50 in there one day. <laughs> 50 dead cows, Jason. 50 dead cows, Josh, eh? Huh? Was that after you milked? That was early in the mornings. Aye, uh, when was I didn't milk. Weekend? That was after a weekend. What was that? Aye. Uh, Aye, uh, it must have been a heavy weekend for you. Seeing things, you were working too hard. You need, you need to take a break. You need to, you know, relax a wee bit, like. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Josh does nothing, he just lies about. All I'm right, up. now we're getting to the answers. I milk the cows. Oh, you, that's right. Do you milk? Oh, I put that in the morning. Yeah, well, I'll just see for proof now when we're at the milking parlour. Who's uh, there? No, I'm not doing it today. Oh, you off a day? All right, I didn't realise it's your day off. So you've just come on the farm a day just to show up to collect your fiver. I like what I like what you're doing. Like I like your way of thinking. Like I, I have to go to my granda's. Oh, you have to go to your granda's. Is this the one you like or the one you don't like? The one, the one, the one I like. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Does he give you a fiver for turning up as well? No, he gives me a tenner for turning up. Oh. <laughs> I need to go and meet your granda. So when I come back in five years' time or ten years' time and you boys are men, what's going to be different about the farm? No, it's going to be a far cleaner. It's not going to be like that. Ah, because... Uh, Josh, what you and I... Are, are you going to clean it? No, he no, will. No, no, Josh will, Josh will, because yeah. he's younger. It's been great spending time with you, boys. I really appreciate it. Now can we go and lie on the sofa now? Uh, you want to go and lie on the sofa? <laughs> no. Thank be, you for taking problem. us, sir. Not a problem. You're, you're a wild man. <laughs> I'm a wild man, sir. Wild man. Stop it, no. No. Oh, there's going to be there's going to be a tip there. Uh, one of the mics is playing up, and I there's nothing I can do about it. It wasn't stopping. I fitted. And what's the first look? I know he's going to say I fitted. I, I fitted, fitted the one the man that yes. I stopped. See that? So, see that? It was fine. So I know it wasn't me. Was it? Was it fine? How yeah. easy was it to get out to get out there? Because I seen a lot of tangled wires, and I said, I you know, know what? Very, I'm not going to say know. anything. I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. But there's a lot of tangled wires there, John. I have a sort of luck. Look, I'm there, I'm there. Yes. I was there and now I'm not. Oh, oh, 
Oh yeah, I'll fix it. Well, I tried to fix that, and I can't. And I'm telling you that it's possibly the microphone. That's this is what dodgy. everyone Luke, does Luke, in our office. Luke. It's like, no, oh, John, not there, no, no, <laughs> no. You have you have a sixth sense that even if someone looks at something, John's over at you like a shot. What was that? What's wrong with that? Is there something? But what? Oh, give me that. Let me see. And you're like, oh my goodness. So when we come into the office now, leaving Kit back, it's like, is John about? No, thank goodness. <laughs> Put recently, the put, the put, the recently. Away. put the kid away. The third drone we crashed this year, sorry. The third drone that needs to go for repair, the fourth drone we crashed this year. Uh, was, you can't get a whole set load. on the desk. Whoa, whoa. You, set on no. the desk with the leg hanging off it, say nothing, folded out body. Team of three will not admit as to who actually flew the drone into whatever they flew it into. A tree I'm flew in the air. Yeah. Collectively. Collectively it happened. Collectively, collectively it happened. Collect as a team. Collectively as a team. As a it team. happened. You've got to take the hit because it's unfair for someone all the time to go, that is your fault. You have done that. I 100% disagree. No. Whenever you do something wrong, you put your hand up and you go, sorry, that was me. I have learned from my mistake. Yeah, but yeah. that's the way to deal with it like a man. Right. Collectively, we broke it as a unit when we were out working, and that's the way it is. Because no, no man should be held responsible. Because the man that flies that doesn't want to crash it. Likewise, what do you the mean man no man should be held responsible. Does that mean we just go crash every drone we have? We don't and go. go no, oh, it doesn't matter the because person, no one's responsible. No, the person flying the drone does well, not put the drone up. No and go, one is responsible. Be. You're saying, John, that's all of your responsibility. No, sort no, problem out. No, I was saying collectively as a team, we broke it. We broke Sorry, it. Sorry, no, it. we and I broke it. We, we broke it. We're a team. We're, we're need, it's a team effort. That's a new one. There's no we and I broke it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
then you've got to go to FarmFlex, www.farmflex.tv. Go to the website, get yourself set up. If you've already got an account, use the app. It's so much easier to drive. And uh, it's going to be there. Get your membership sorted while the doors are open.